Okay, so I was told that we had a few questions over lines of symmetry. So here we have an equilateral triangle, which means all the sides are equal. We have a regular polygon called a square, meaning all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. And this is a regular polygon called a pentagon, meaning all the sides are equal. So if it's a regular polygon, it means all the sides are equal and all the corners are equal. They're called vertices because it's the angles on the inside are going to be equal. This part right here. So that is going to be the same as that, as that. So you may see it with the tick mark in it or just as an angle. So on here you just may see if it has one arc, it means they're the same. If it would have two arcs on it, it means that anything that has two arcs would match something else with two arcs. But all of these are the same, so they all have one arc. On a 90 degree angle, you have the square showing you that each one is a 90 degree angle. Now on regular, uh, regular polygons, sometimes we just got to look at it and say, well, that looks like one, so we're going to go with it. So on the lines of symmetry, it means that um, if it will be exactly the same if we split it in half. So one way of showing it on a triangle is if we were to take it and fold it, you see both sides are going to be the same. Now this one may not be quite right. Um, that would be on my fault. Not if, if it was a true equilateral triangle, it would all be perfectly lined up. So then when you open it up, you would have a line of symmetry. So you see that line that goes through right here? That would be cutting. Either side is identical. So that would be one of your lines of symmetry going straight across there. Now, that's not your only line of symmetry because if it would be turned a little bit more this way, you'd have another line of symmetry going there. So you could fold that one there on that line from the corner. You always fold it from the corner and make there the same on both sides. And so that would be your next line of symmetry. Going from the corner all the way, and this is actually called the, the height, because it's gotta be at a 90 degree from the base. And then you could come and do the last one, again, from the corner to the side. If you'll notice, it will actually go through the same line. If it goes through the corner and goes through the center, it's going to be right there at the middle. So when we take it and fold it to make it even, it's going to go through there. So lines of symmetry, if they're drawn straight across, they're all going to cross on the same one on an equilateral triangle. So it has three corners, three equal sides, and three lines of symmetry. So on a square, the same thing, it would go from the corners, but on the square, you're gonna go from a corner, straight across is gonna be a corner. So we've got a line of symmetry there, and we have a line of symmetry here. What's different though, now we only have two lines of symmetry, but we have four corners. But if we take this one, we can also take it and fold it this way across and know that that one is going to be the same as that. And notice that center line on our line of symmetry going straight across is going to hit the exact center line again. So when we open it up, we know that the left is identical to the right. So this is our third line of symmetry. And again, it crosses right there in the center. So on the fourth one, we know it's going to go from the other side to the other, and we're going to know it's going to have to cross that. So you can either fold it or you can draw it straight across. Now be careful if you draw it straight across, you want to make it as close as possible. The other way to do it is you could measure it and you see here it came to five centimeters. And so the line straight across would be two and a half centimeters. So that would be one way to do it without folding it. So we've got four equal edges. We've got four identical triangles. And then we got four, I'm sorry, four identical angles and four lines of symmetry. Now that this one is going to be the hardest one because we know it's a pentagon because it's got one, two, three, four, five sides, one, two, three, four, five angles. 
We know they're identical angles because it's a regular pentagon, which means all the sides and angles are the same. So now each line is going to come from a vertice. So we can take it and you can fold it over, or this time I'm going to just measure it. So we're going to measure straight across for its four, from zero to four centimeters. So right in the middle is going to be two centimeters. So I'm going to mark that at two centimeters. So when I draw my line, it goes from the point to the two centimeters, straight across. And then the next one I'm going to take and I'm going to have again, I want to go from the next point. So I'm going to go find my two centimeters. And then I go from the angle, the vertex, straight across to the two centimeters mark. So now I've got two lines. I'll go ahead and make this one a little bit darker so you can see it better. But then we have over here, we've got a third one. And I'm going to go ahead and measure because once we get three lines going through the center, then we can trust it and we don't need to rely on it. But we want to get three. You know, once is a ch one is your trying, two is your checking, three is you've... Or, uh, three is con confirmation. So we know the center is somewhere about there. So we've used that corner. We've used that corner. We have not used this corner. So we're going to come up here. We want to go from the corner. We want to go through the center. So we draw our third one. We have not used this corner. So we're going to go from this corner through the center. So now we have one, two, three, four, five lines of symmetry. And it started with the first one, so it stops. And these are all the extended lines from here. So again, five equal sides, five equal angles, five lines of symmetry. So on here, when we have hexagons, heptagons, and octagons, a hexagon, that means you have six. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six corners. So we have, we're going to go from corner to corner all the way across. And we've drawn three lines. We have three lines of symmetry. But the same thing, if we would cut it in half up and down, then we still have the right and the left are the same. So we're going to go ahead and draw those straight across. So it's cutting the distance. Now you can see mine is actually not quite exactly right. Again, you can use a ruler to measure it or you can eyeball it as long as it's close. So we've got a full side here, so we're gonna cut it in half and have it go through the center. And then we've got a full side here, so we're gonna cut it in half and then go through the center. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six lines of symmetry. And see the first one, one goes all across there. Thank you.